Here's a simple map of an elevation model for the state of Maine. I've got actually a boundary mask here, which is a big square polygon from which I have erased the boundaries of the state of Maine. So that covers up the edges, those ragged edges of the elevation model, but it's effectively a boundary. So I want to change the way this looks in my legend. I'm going to go ahead and click once, click twice. Now it allows me to edit the text and just say, boundary. And see how that changes how it reads here, and also if you go over to the map tab, it's also changed how it draws here. So any changes you make here will also apply here and be read over to here. A couple of more things while we're here. We generally don't include the hillshade in the legend. We can just uncheck that in the legend group. If we want to change the order in which these appear, we can just drag them up or down here that reads across there. And likewise, if I don't want to display this text, I can delete it completely and control Z if I decide I didn't want to do that. But let's just say I do for now, delete that. And now I can go over into the group here and select this, which looks blank, but still reads off the elevation in meters. I can go over to the text symbol and if I decide I want that to be bold, I can apply that there. Sometimes making a change doesn't read over immediately, so if you've changed something that doesn't apply, go ahead and hit refresh here, and then it will reread over here and update what you've made.